Okay, just wanted to show a quick tip here. Um, this is the latest version of Windows 10, build 18.03. It came out this spring. Uh, some computers still don't have it yet. I'm seeing quite a few that are coming in with the older, uh, I believe, 17.09 build. One of the main uh, ways to notice the difference is to take a look here. And it might be kind of hard to see, but if you get like a little bit of a line, like a square outline on these uh, boxes here, that's an indication that you're on 1803. And you have to be on 1803 for this to take effect. See that outline on those boxes? Only build 1803 has that. So what I want to show you is how to make it so that Windows 10 doesn't hog your internet connection every time it does a major update. It's been a problem with Windows 10 and Windows 8 for a long time where you go and download a update that might be a gig or two gigs in size and it absolutely kills your internet connection on every device in the house while it's downloading that. So bring up the uh, start menu and then click on the little gear cog down here to take you into the settings. Once you're in there, go to update and security. And then in the main area here, go to advanced options. And then in here, go over to delivery optimization. And I always turn allow downloads from other PCs on and then PCs for my local network and internet. This means that if you have multiple computers in the house, in theory, they will share updates so you don't have to download them several times. Once those two are checked, go to advanced options here, right below. And this is the important stuff. I check the top three items. This limits the bandwidth um, both for upload and download. So when you're sharing an update to another computer or when you're downloading an update for yours, it won't hog the internet connection. You can do the last one here, especially if you're on satellite and don't want to um, use your monthly, monthly limit. In this case, I'm going to turn that option on and slide it all the way down. The minimum is five gigabytes. So this will mean at most, but not very often, it will use up to five gigabytes sharing the updates with other computers. So I'm gonna go back on this screen, back, back, and then you're at the main page and that's all you gotta do. This will really help those people that are on a limited bandwidth internet connection. Some cable companies do this, but primarily satellite providers like HughesNet, WildBlue, um, Exceed, and all those. Hope this helps.